So the opening stage was no different from last major. Very hard to predict due to the format. Fnatic ended up as one of the O3 teams. Rare Adam didn't. Mongols speed ran the opening stage. And sadly, I was one point away from making it. But I'm not going to stop here. I'll do my best to predict the next stage right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Sign offers live support 24 7 you can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars and there's a lot of skins to choose from visit my link down below to get to skins monkey again if you have no idea what to pick i suggest looking at different pickems online like other streamers or youtubers even though most of us have been struggling already this format with bo1s and mr12 will cause a lot of unexpected results so don't be too hard on yourself but again let's do the bottom o3s for the first slot I'm just gonna have to pick wild card. I don't think they're necessarily bad. I mean, they made it this far. I just think they're the least likely team to advance. But again, this format with BO1s will spawn surprises like the rare Atom one. Next O3 slot, I'll just have to go with Pain. Again, not saying they're bad, especially being in the top 16, but this is the team along with Wildcard that I think is the least likely to advance. But now let's go to the three zeros. And while I do feel like this format is a game of chance with little skill involved, I do want to play off the teams that I think have the highest chances of reaching playoffs. So this might surprise you by what I'm going to pick. But the first team to go up there is going to be Na'Vi. This is a team that follows the same model that I see in MIBR, and with their recent form are showing very little mistakes in their games with what they are allowed to control. Plus, I feel like Bit goes hard during later stages of the Major, and of course they won the last one in Copenhagen, and they're ranked 1 on HLTV, so that's a pretty easy 3-0 pick. But this next 3-0 pick is going to surprise you. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I still think MIBR is one of those teams that can do it, and what we've seen from them in the opening stage was far from a 3-0, but I wouldn't say it's the cause of bad plays or bad performance in general. I look at the team, the players, how consistent they are, if they make questionable decisions, or if any players drag the team down, if they maximize their chances of winning, basically I look for their flaws. And I still see them having a good chance, so again, I'm putting them to go 3-0. For the 3-1-3-2 slots, the first pick is going to be Spirit, which is where I think certain flaws start to appear. It's just that sometimes individual performance can be questionable here, but they do have two superstars, one of them being Donk, and if they activate them both without anyone else choking, they are sure to reach playoffs. Next up, another team that I see similarities to Spirit, which I'll pick next, is Mouse with certain players performing very good, but also have really bad moments, so really it's down to basically them having good games. But I still think their chances of advancing are very good. After that, I would have to pick Heroic. I think Heroic comes very close to Mouse in some ways, there can be questionable performance at times, but they still have a strong chance of advancing. My next pick is going to be an exciting one to watch because of their firepower, and that is of course Mongols. Now I think they're far from perfect, and they make punishing plays, but it sort of compensates with how much impact they have individually. It's one of those teams that can go berserk if you let them loose. I mean, ultimately they have very good chances of advancing. Next up for me is Vitality, just because of Ziwu, but I also think they have a strong chance of advancing regardless. Are they questionable at times? Yes, they are, but they can absolutely still reach playoffs. And lastly for me, I'm going to pick FaZe. FaZe, in my opinion, is the only team from these teams that I've picked so far where I don't necessarily see any superstar performance. But at the same time, the players are superstars. So FaZe could very well end up choking, but I still see their chances of making playoffs as pretty good. Now, of course, there are other teams that also have good chances, with Liquid being one of them, in my opinion. Furia could also reach playoffs. G2 is, of course, also possible, but a huge gamble to pick, in my opinion. Even 3D Max, I think, could make it. But let me know what you pick down below. Hope you have fun during the majors, and I'll see you at the playoffs. Peace.